Hi, I'm Sheriff Greg Champagne, President of the National Sheriff's Association. It is with a heavy heart that I am here recording a message like this so soon after what happened in Dallas last week. Again, our flags will fly at half-mast in honor of a sheriff's deputy and two police officers gunned down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana this past Sunday morning. Another deputy is critically injured and fighting for his life. We offer our heartfelt prayers and sympathy to the family of those senselessly killed and injured as well as to their families, friends, and co-workers. Just as tensions seem to be easing in the city of Baton Rouge, innocent law enforcement officers doing their duty, serving and protecting communities that they loved, were targeted for death, further highlighting the danger we all face every day. Again, children have lost fathers, wives have lost husbands, parents have lost sons. This can't happen again. The war on law enforcement officers must stop in this country. All of us must send the message loud and clear that inflammatory, anti-police rhetoric has no place in this country. We are a nation of laws. Words matter and can provoke some to needless violence against those who serve and protect. Regretfully, some politicians and national figures are hopefully seeing the effects that their improvident rush to judgment can have upon some people in our society. After five of our fellow officers were so cruelly taken from us in Dallas, I said that our immediate reaction here in the St. Charles Parish Sheriff's Office was probably the same as all other law enforcement officers everywhere. There was a sense of frustration, anger, abandonment, fear, but a rededication of ourselves to continue to do our duty to the best of our ability. Once again, we feel frustrated, angry, abandoned, and afraid. And once again, we will rededicate ourselves to continue to do our duty to the best of our ability. We urge all deputies and police officers to exercise the utmost caution. We wish God's blessing upon all of them and their families.